Hey, what's up, Gun Nuts? It's Ferrari Steve, and today I'm going to do a video that was actually requested uh, in the comments section on another video. Uh, I did one video for my Sig Sauer 1911 TAC Ops talking about uh, potential upgrades. Uh, I did a threaded barrel and Wilson Combat magazines. And someone in the comments said, hey, I got a uh, Ed Brown tactical mag release for mine. You ought to check that out. So I'm a fan of Wilson Combat products, and so I decided to pick up a Wilson Combat tactical mag release, or in traditional 1911 parlance, the magazine catch. Uh, and this is it. So I wanted to try it out today and uh, kind of show you what I think of it. So before we do, let's make sure the gun is clear. Take out the magazine. Lock the slide open, visually and manually inspect, and the gun is clear. Okay, well, this is the magazine catch right here, right? You obviously use it to release your magazine. And removing it actually isn't that difficult. You don't need to break down anything on the gun, which is kind of nice. Flip it over. Uh, if you've got one of these handy-dandy little tiny screwdrivers, I don't know where I got this. This is like an old-school one that I've had forever. I think I probably stole it from my dad a long time ago. Um... But it's perfect. I use it for a lot of little gun tinkering. Uh, but if you flip it over and look on the back side of this magazine catch, uh, there's a magazine catch. It looks like a screw, little screw head here. That is actually the magazine catch lock. It locks the spring into place. So the best way to get it out of there is to kind of push the mag catch in a little bit, right? And then you'll feel it. It's kind of a feel thing. You want to turn counterclockwise. I know that's counterintuitive, but you're not actually tightening the screw. You're moving, and you'll see it inside, you're moving a little tab on the magazine catch lock here uh, into a little groove to let it release. So push it in. You'll feel where it can... There it goes. And the whole thing just kind of pops out. There we go. You pop it out. So this is the original from SIG. All right? Looks... You know, like a magazine catch. All right, now, let's take out the Wilson Combat one. And you'll notice pretty quickly what I noticed, which is, great, drop it on your gun, Steve. The one in the SIG is an extended magazine release. These are the same size. Look at that. You get no difference in the size. Now, they look pretty similar. The color's a little bit off, right? This is technically blue, and the SIG has its own coating. Um, I believe it's nitron uh, on the TAC Ops, which is more black or blackish, right? Uh, and there's a little color difference. So, you know, you could go ahead and throw this in your gun. In fact, just for giggles, let's do that. Um, to get this out, so here's the little lock I was telling you about, this little tab right here. So it's under pressure. Just rotate it out to where it releases, and it'll just pop right out. Grab the magazine catch lock and the magazine catch spring, which are in there. And they just insert right in there. And then press it in until you're in that groove. And then turn it so that it locks in place. There you go. Now it's ready to put back in. So we'll put the Wilson Combat 1 in the SIG and just for fun to see how it goes. And it just drops freely in there real easy. And then, again, you kind of want to find that spot where it's just right and then rotate it out of that groove by rotating it clockwise. And you'll hear it... Here, let's watch this. Yep, it just snaps and pops itself into place. So you can see right away there's a slight color difference visible from this side. Not as visible from this side, just because, you know, it's kind of a different level and the light's hitting it. And um, it feels exactly like the SIG one, quite frankly. I mean, um, it, it's not super smooth because I've only really put, I don't know, maybe a thousand rounds through this since I got it. It's kind of a new gun to me. Um, but, I mean, it does the job. It, it releases, and I can, I can kind of... One of the problems why I was interested in trying it is I've got smaller hands, and so I do have to kind of give up my grip a little bit to eject the magazine on this. I was hoping for something that maybe brought it out just a little bit, even just, boy, just a couple millimeters farther out would give me a better shot at getting a, you know, a good press on that without sacrificing my grip, which is really what I was looking for in extended mag catch. But, as we just proved... The geometry of the Wilson Combat piece 
is identical to, let's get that back out, to the stock SIG piece, right? So let's put, a, put the SIG one back in there. Rotate that out. You can see how simple it is. Pop this in. Line it up. Put that screw in. It's technically not a screw. It's a, a catch lock, right? It just has a screw head. Drop it into place. Find that sweet spot where when you go to tighten it, it'll move and drop itself into place. And there we go. So... Was this an uh, was this modification an upgrade? Um, not for me. It is. Um, it's neutral. It's literally the same piece, just a slightly different color because it's blued, and so that makes it a downgrade for me. The good news is I bought this for like twenty four ninety nine on Amazon. The return policy is really good. I'm going to return this piece. I don't need it. If you've got a non tactical nineteen eleven, um, you know Wilson makes pretty decent stuff, and so I can't really hate on it. I just don't need it. Um, so I guess this is a compliment to the SIG 1911 TAC Ops. It really does have nearly all the tactical stuff that I would want on it, including the magazine catch. Now, um, Wilson and others, Ed Brown as well, makes kind of a bigger one. They've got a little Allen key or Allen head screw that gives you a bigger base pad for your thumb. I don't know if they make it in blue or black. I know they make it in stainless, and I don't really want that stainless. I mean, maybe I'll give it a shot and see. Um, but, you know, I'm still looking for a solution to really get a good mag drop without... I mean, I can kind of do it, but it's not quite right. So, anyway, the Wilson didn't work out for me, only because it's the same geometry and size and sticks out just as far as the SIG. And so, you know, if you've got a standard size one, I can't say anything bad about the Wilson. It just isn't an upgrade for me because it doesn't actually improve the way the gun functions for me. So that's it. This is Ferrari Steve reminding you that a dirty gun is a happy gun. This one's actually pretty dirty so on the inside. So I, uh, maybe I'll do a cleaning video here soon. But thank you for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe. Um, sorry to Wilson comment. It didn't work out this time for me, but obviously not because of anything bad. But uh, stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time.